this video tutorial I will cover how to inject a list collection using Spring Dependency Injection by Constructor. Here I have defined a class uh, Fruit Shop. It has uh, two properties, shop name and uh, list of available fruits. And uh, it has a Fruit Shop Constructor which accept uh, shop name and uh, list of available fruits. And uh, it has uh, display fruit shop uh, info method which display the fruit shop uh, name and uh, list of uh, available fruits. This is a spring configuration file. Here we have mentioned fruit shop object should be created by spring container using uh, constructor dependency injection. Constructor argument which invokes uh, constructor. Type attributes specify string and list. So this constructor which accept string and list. So this constructor will be invoked by a spring container and shop name will be set as fruit mart and list of available fruits will be set as apple, pineapple and orange. This list element is used to define list. what object to instantiate, what object to configure and how to configure. This information will be there in spring configuration file. Here we have specified fruit shop object should be created by spring container using constructor dependency injection and fruit shop name should be set as fruit mart and list of available fruit should be set as apple, pineapple and orange. Spring container read this uh, spring configuration file and uh, creates a fruit shop object, configure the fruit shop object and uh, manage the complete life cycle of uh, fruit shop object. Here I have defined a class app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using a getbean method of uh, application context. I am getting a fruit shop object from a spring container and displaying the fruit shop information. Here you can see the output. This constructor has been called by spring container and fruit shop name is set as fruit mart and list of available fruits is set as apple, pineapple and orange.